Assalamu alaikum family. This is Dr. Ridgely at your farm in Georgia, Muhammad Farms. And I'm walking the road inspecting the wheat, which we intend to harvest in June and turn into flour and cream of whole wheat, etc. But today I want to talk a little deeper. It goes deeper than just the farming. There's a, a big cry, and I agree, against the homosexual, militant homosexual attack on the black man. Well, let's, I'd like to go to the root, okay? You see what I'm wearing? This cap, these shades, and there's a t-shirt over my head and ears. It's not a headpiece. And I'm not trying to make a fashion statement. There are gnats out here. For those who've come to the farm, they realize they are insatiable. They'll run you crazy. So this gear satisfies the need to protect me from these gnats. So I got shades over my eyes, my t-shirt over my ears. But if you didn't know what I was up against, do you might think I'm making a fashion statement. This gets to the crux of what I want to talk about. Need determines function. Then function produces structure. If you remove the need, you eliminate the function and therefore there's no need for the structure. So why is a black man being turned away from his natural instincts? Because he's in a white man's economy that doesn't want him anymore, doesn't need him anymore, and therefore he is being eliminated. I'm walking right now. I could drive, and I should drive if I want to inspect the whole farm. But me driving all the time has eliminated the need for my legs. So my legs are getting smaller in proportion to the rest of my body because I ride around a lot, getting parts to keep the machinery going so my men can take care of 1,600 acres. I can't do it without slaves or equipment. And I gotta keep the equipment going, so I gotta keep driving. So, I have to have a treadmill at the house for me to do leg exercise to compensate from what I used to do in the field work. Therefore, in the black community, the need for, for the black man to provide food, clothing, and shelter, and protection for the black community has been eliminated by the white man's economic system, and now the need to function and the structure of the black man is being destroyed. We're gonna to have to rebuild our own communities if we want to save our lives. This white man knows he cannot compete on a physical level with the black man. So he's gonna produce robots to replace the need of the strength of the man and put his brains in the robot and then eliminate the man this white boy ain't playing. He intends to illuminate, eliminate the black man. Eliminate human beings on the planet Earth and replace it with androids, with his brains in the android. The problem is not the homosexual militant agenda. The problem is our affinity to work with our hands. Everybody want to be in the office. Nobody want to get their hands dirty. If, why do you get to say you got hands? Why do you think the hands of the black man is larger than the woman? So you can do some damn work. Get your lazy ass up and do some work. Assalamu alaikum.